I have had the privilege of working as an American diplomat during an incredibly exciting and tumultuous period over the last few decades. When I left SEPA in the late 80s, it was the time of the fall of the Soviet Union. I had an opportunity to have a, a front row seat and in fact not sitting, I was doing. And it was because of the skills that I gained while I was a student. I had the opportunity to work in some of the former Soviet states to help them establish independence. While I was in Azerbaijan, one of our major projects was accessing Caspian energy reserves. But I've also worked on things that you don't see, that aren't as visible to the outside viewer, because they're things we've prevented. I'm currently serving as the director of the Foreign Service Institute. I love working with our people as they come to get ready for these fantastic jobs in the service of the United States and the American people. SEPA gave me the critical analysis skills that I needed in order to evaluate. Is this the right policy? Have we made the right decision? What are the options, the paths that we didn't follow, but that we may want to consider in the future? I think one of the experiences that was most memorable for me was the seminar I was able to take with Dr. Zbigniew Brzezinski. He brought out the very best in us, and he made us prepare papers as if we were briefing the president, but he made us rise up to the challenge. We came out with the confidence that we could, in fact, not just role play, but do the things he taught us to do. When I have the opportunity to talk to all students, I urge them to make sure that they're maximizing the value of the institution that they're at. What I got from this institution was the courage to take risks. And it is that risk taking that has propelled me through the course of my career and allowed me really to understand that SEPA was a springboard for all of the things that I did in my career and in my life.